in this video we're going to explore how we can give chart chance or a line chart colors based on their value so you can see here right now here this is a value of six but the moment the chart goes up here in value it starts to increase the value and you can find you see here that the points here are quite hard to find because they're hidden however this will be a quite nice way because this is one of the newest version newest tricks they introduced in ChartJS 3.1. So let's explore how we can do these kind of tricks with ChartJS right now. In this video we will answer one of the viewers question which is how to assign colors in a line chart based on values in ChartJS. This question came from one of my other videos about dynamic bar chart with colors which is a great video but this is in ChartJS 2.9. Currently we're using ChartJS 3.1. Five. So if you would have this one, I would highly recommend to upgrade, but they're not backward compatible. So that's very important to remember. So you might have some migration matters to consider. All right. Here, Stefan asked a specific question. So first of all, thank you, Stefan, for asking the question. And this is here. This is what Stefan said. Hi, thank you for your video. I tried that and it works for the bar graphs, but not for the line graphs. Can you help me out where I should look into. All right, so let me show you exactly how to do it. First of all, we're going to get the default code. You can find this on chartjs 3 slash getting started or just check this link here. And then in here, you have a video that will explain exactly all the code below here or at least all the JavaScript in here. So if you need to understand what is this, please watch that video. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this in here. And once I paste this in here, I'm going to cut this out move the title in here all right so the next thing what i want to do here save that refresh there we are so now we have our bar chart but we don't want a bar chart because stefan was asking for a line chart so we're going to convert this into a line chart we have here a line chart and we save this once we save that refresh there we are let's do some final adjustments here and uh, let's go here on the border width i will say tension and tension will be 0 0.4 making it more elastic save that refresh there we are so now what we're going to do is we're going to work basically with the segment and the segment is a new item that they introduced in charges 3.1 secondly i want to note this as well with charges there's two ways to give colors based on values for a line chart i'm going to show you the first way in another video i'll show you the second way all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to work with these segments and this is very important to pay attention on we're going to create here a value and the value must understand when this line goes up it will have a different color compared to a line that goes down or meaning that segment of that line and how it will compare is basically starting point ending point so this is considered one segment this is considered a second segment so we're going to compare the starting point and ending point and if the starting point is lower or higher let's say here in this case higher compared to the ending point in that case we want to give this a color red but if we are would be here and if the starting point is lower and the ending point is higher in that case this section of the line or segment of the line should be green if you're familiar with a candle chart very similar principle when the stock goes up make it green when the stock goes down make the candle stick red and if you want to understand how to draw a candlestick chart i have a video about that also in chart js all right so what we're going to do is the following we're going to work here we're going to put in here and we're going to say the first constant is up and this up equals and i'm going to put in here two values should be the ctx value and the value itself this here has no meaning yet because we will use it later on we're going to assign value to them once we are here down all right so we can leave this for what it is but then what we need to do here we're going to have here the if statement and then we say the following we say ctx which which uh, is very important ctx stands for drawing in the canvas chart is related to the canvas chart itself or the canvas and all the values and objects in the canvas and then we're going to grab here the value p0 so you might wonder what is p0 p0 stands for the first or the starting point here the starting point of that segment so if we look where it's positioned 
So we say p0 and then we say dot parse. So we're going to make it readable. And parse means making something readable. For what exactly? For the y scale. In essence, what we're really saying, we're going to get p0. We want to know how many pixels or is it positioned up based on pixel calculation. It can calculate if this is up compared to this one. All right, so we say this here, so we make this readable. So basically here, I would estimate that it would be here a pixel value, of, let's say 12 or whatever we would start here. This would be, might be 12. Remember with the dy scale, it goes down. And if it goes down, this would be the maximum value. If I'm not mistaken, we can check that here as well. That would be the maximum value here at the very bottom because we can check at the height is 700 by 350. That would mean that if the corner up is zero, down is 350, and maybe it's 12 here and this would be probably 50 plus 70 plus whatever and that comparison here at the back end basically on how it's being calculated can so by that they can understand and figure out if something is positioned higher or loyal or lower all right so i hope that makes a bit clear that's basically everything what's happening behind the scene so what we're saying here basically if it's going up we expect that this value which is the starting point, should be lower compared to the ending point value. So this one should be lower compared to what? We're going to grab that one, put here value 1. Alright, so once we did this, then of course, so that's the if statement, and else, if it cannot figure out what it is, we will have a default value, and we say here yeah, undefined. And you could give you anything, but undefined is fine for now, because I expect always a value here but maybe you might have a blank here in that case undefined should be a gray color or something so that you cannot then it doesn't make any so you will not have any issue but it's all right for now because in our case we always expect a value so the next item would be of course the down so how does down work exactly the same here except for one thing if you're going down if you expect that this value is higher compared to this which would mean that this value should be bigger and bigger is this symbol here compared to the p1 all right so now we have this part and this part is really essential and if you want like this here you can find this all in here chart js yes, you go to the line chart here and then we go down here you'll find here specifically this segment so let me search that segment all right you can see the segment is an object undefined by default click on that and then you can find here the values P0, first point of element, P1, second point of element. You also have the data index, which could be a, another way as well. Up to you. This one would probably be the most suitable. And the type is a segment, of course, because we have here. What we're going to do here now, this is the type. So what is the type? Segment. And in this segment, we're going to put in the specific values. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work with this here, because this is basically blank. It is, this first one will be CTX, but these are just right now parameters without any value. So what we're going to do here is the following. Let's assign first, instead of the background color, because we don't have yet a background color assigned here. Maybe only this here, but this is not really considered. We Later on, we have to activate the fill here. So what we're going to do is here is the border color. We're going to use that one first, because that's the most visible for us. So we say border, border color. Then here in the border color, we will start with CTX, all right? And then we assign the following, this if statement, if. Then we grab here the up value, which is basically this. Up will get these two values here. And what is this exactly? Well, first one will be CTX as well. Why? Because CTX is the object value. It has all the objects for the canvas. We want to draw in the canvas, so that's why we need this one. And this is the value in itself. Well, this was just a parameter meaning a name of that value. All right, so this is the exact value, but here we need to give the color. And this color, if this is considered up, we want the green color. The green color is positioned position here, the fourth value. So I'm going to copy that. I will paste this in here. And once we did that, we have this here. All right, we have also, pay attention to the parentheses here. And then we have the next one. So, or, if, of course, if this is not the case, it is not uh, higher compared to the ending value. 
so it doesn't go up the line then we need to have this basically this one except for down so what we're going to type in here what we're going to just copy everything here then we say down so it is one or the other all right so once we have this no sem no semicolon but a comma very important make sure you have a comma and we can save this now and let's see if it works all right we have here that i miss out on something just to be sure down parse value undefined we have here the down oh of course sorry why is this all green because i didn't change the color yet makes sense all right what i want to do now is i'm going to copy all of this paste this in here make sure we have the red color refresh and now we have value dependencies as you can see here so this is nice uh, currently because you can see this is still in development mode because this is introduced in 3.1 the borders and the background colors are supported others are not so we cannot do let's say the maybe you want to have these point radius sorry not possible point radius hoover point radius border no not possible but background color is possible. So let's do the background color. I'm going to copy this. That one, I'm going to grab this code, put it in here, save that and refresh, and then you don't see anything. Why? Well, first of all, we didn't activate the background color here. The background color is called the fill color. So let's do that immediately. Fill, and then we say here, true. The moment we do this, make sure you have a comma here and also here. I can remove all of this here because this is basically redundant or not necessary because this is now formula based. Save this, refresh, and now we have a chart that is color coded. This is not maybe the one you expect because this is only up and down, but maybe you want one specifically with negative values. For that, I have another video that I will make and I will put the link in the description box or just in the comment, uh, the comment that we've pinned. That you can see as well so because there's two ways and this is the first way to do it next what i want to uh, notify as well because i know that you're using the chart js or the video from my video that is 2.9 if you are interested to look at the other version which is the more latest version this is chart js 3 point plus i don't know exactly which one at the time watch this specific video how to assign colors in chart in a chart based on values in chart.js. So that's it for now. This link will also be pop up here. So you will find this immediately in case you need to upgrade your, your version to the latest one.